Happy New Year! I wanted to do a quick video and show you kind of the, the haul I got from some antique stores and thrift stores that I went to over the holidays. We spent Christmas with my family up in Wichita Falls. My sister took me to a couple of the stores that she likes up there and one of them was this kind of cool funky antique store that was going out of business. You talk about score. They were, it was like maybe their last day or the day before their last day and they were just wanting to get rid of everything. Fixtures, you name it. They even threw in a bunch of stuff for free just to get rid of it. So, yeah, we cleaned up. Um, some of the stuff I've already started putting away, but um, I'll take you and show you where I put it so you can see. Because it was, we got some pretty neat stuff, you know, and for cheap. Um, I spent a lot, but I bought a lot too. And so, you know, individually, everything ended up being very reasonably priced, which appeals to me a great deal. So, um, hang on. And I'll show you what I got. We'll start with jewelry, since that's what I got the most of. That little store that was going out of business. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I won't tell you what I just did. <clears throat> okay. Um, that store that was going out of business had a bunch of jewelry. Not really, you know, like really, really good jewelry. Mostly junk jewelry and... It was way overpriced. It's, you know, no wonder they didn't sell it. But, you know, she offered the whole shebang at a decent price. And I'm always on the lookout for junk jewelry because I do use it. I make stuff out of it. See if I can get a better picture of it. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to be walking around with the camera a lot, and, you know, I really hate to do that because it's, it's all bouncy and shaky, so just go take your Dramamine now because it might be a little unpleasant. I'll try to hold steady. I bought the um, two display cases, this one and another one I'll show you, that came with the jewelry. She had mostly earrings and pins and stuff in this case, and she had the necklaces in a wall case that I didn't have any use for, but she had a little table case that I bought. Um, and I've already picked through and pulled out what I wanted, and um, which was probably less than half of what I actually bought, but it was worth it to get those pieces, because I did look it over good when I um, was in there, and I could immediately see several pieces that I could use, and most of them will be taken apart, you know, beads will come off, and They'll be they'll be cannibalized for other purposes, but a few things I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave intact. There were some this is an interesting I didn't even know what this was. My mother had to tell me. This they both have a little pin back on it, like this. So it's two pins connected by a chain, and she said it was a sweater pin that you put like on a cardigan. This goes on one side, this goes on the other. She said they wore those when she was young. I would never have figured that out. But anyway, it's kind of cool. It's different. Um, another thing I like was this. It's a Lionel train watch. And I'm going to, this one I'm going to keep. I'm actually going to see if I can repair it and get it running because it looks to me like that little train moves around the track. And I just have to know. I got to know. So I'm going to fix that one. And I've got plans for some of the other things, and uh, some of them I don't, um, but it'll come to me. And there was really, there's a few interesting pieces, and uh, I don't know, to me it was worth it. I did box up all the extras, and uh, I immediately found a friend to give all the extras to, because her mom uses it to make stuff out of as well. And she's always looking for stuff like this. So I've got a box already ready to go to her. And I get a chance to get that to her. Um, the other case that I bought is right here. Hang on, we're moving. There we go. Yeah, that little table. And uh, they had stuff on it and in it. 
but um, and they had this really tacky liner in it that I took out. I just threw a piece of that's a drop cloth in there. I don't know what I'll put in there. Maybe some black velvet would look good. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to put jewelry in it. Probably not, because um, it's big enough to hold bigger, cooler stuff, you know. So I don't know. I don't know what I'll put in there. Maybe a little keepsake, something, somethings. But it's just a good little storage table thing. Um, okay, moving back this way. Let's see. Ah, let me show you those big things in the back. Okay, hang on and I'll be back. I really didn't intend to buy these. Um, they were hanging on the wall at the um, going out of business antique store. And I was looking at them thinking, oh my gosh, those are so cool. I have no idea what they were, but they were really cool. So the owner guy um, saw me looking at them and he told me that he bought them from the old man who made them at his house. And he had them hanging from the trees in his yard, and birds actually built their nests inside them, which I thought was just so cool, right? But the guy had them listed as plant hangers. You know, you could stick a plant in there or whatever, which would still be a very cool thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, but he had them listed for $30 each, which is why he was still had them. And like I said, I didn't intend to buy them. And, uh, you know, he said he'd let me have them for $10 each, and I told him no, they were cool, but I really didn't need them. And then he said, okay, both of them for $10. Well, five bucks each. I mean, I could figure out something to do with them for five bucks each. So, yeah, I bought them. So, anyway, I really do think that they're cool because they're, they're unusual. They're handcrafted. Um, you know, it's not something that you're going to see everywhere. And I don't know, I might hang one in a tree and see if a bird will nest in it. We have cats in our yard, so that, that might be a disaster, but I don't know. Who knows? I'll come up with something. So anyway, I thought these were, these were just really cool and uh, unusual, which is right up my alley. Set those aside. And, oh, I bought some more silverware, which I... I didn't need in the least. I don't I have a whole bunch. But again, it was cheap. I bought a little bit of it at that going out of business store and then I bought some at a different um thrift store that we went to. And then my aunt gave me this crystal globe. It's a um light fixture really is what it is. Okay, let's see if I can get a better picture for you. There we go. Nothing special in here. It's mostly just silver plate. There's a couple of sterling pieces, but I really I really tend to use more silver plate than I do sterling because sterling is so uh, bendy. It's so soft. It makes it nice if you're, you know, bending a piece to use for something, but if it's like I've made some hangers for the wall and I'm really afraid that if you put anything heavy on it it's going to bend the sterling so I really prefer to just fight with silver plate it's harder to bend but it's sturdier most of these are silver plate from the it says the New York Hilton I guess it's just some reject um, hotel stuff and I don't know what I'll do with it I'll figure something out they're in fairly decent shape. A couple of them were really kind of sad. I did the best I could to clean them. This one, I am convinced, in its former life, cooked heroin. Seriously, look at it. That is a heroin spoon if I've ever seen one. Not that I've seen a lot of heroin spoons, but you know. I watch TV sometimes, so I know stuff. So, anyway. Um, and I got out. I have some more. These are my other silverware pieces that I've collected for a reason that I don't yet know. And I've decided I'm going to go through them, weed out what I want to keep, what I want to toss. I've got just some regular stainless steel stuff in here, some that I've played with, and then some more um, other different pieces. Some of them are just pretty. I just like them. 
you know, they're not valuable. They're silver plated. They're not special, but I like them. I like, I really like um, teaspoons. This stuff that I bought had a couple of really cool silver teaspoons that I liked. I mean, they're plain. They're nothing special. I don't know what it is about them that I like. And then they had a whole bunch of these, um, find one. I'm not even sure. I'll show my etiquette idiocy here. What is that? Is it a, a fish fork? Is that what that is? I have no idea. See, it's got the two tines on the end have a funny little notch on them. So I don't know what that is. Fish fork? I don't know. Anyway, there are a bunch of those in there. And some others. That, I don't know. I tend to like... I tend to gravitate toward the more plain ones. Oh, here's a different kind of fish fork. And those kind of shoot out to the sides rather than have notches. But I tend to like plain more than I do ornate. I don't know why that is. Okay, anyway, that's, that's the silverware. I also grabbed, oh, uh, this is another one of those old light fixture cover things that my aunt gave me. And this was at the thrift store. They had this baggie full of these glass, um, you know, what's call them? Stir sticks. And they were just a couple of dollars. So I bought them. And I don't know why. So if you happen to know why I bought all of these silly stir sticks, um, if you could just let me know, that would be great. Because I don't have an idea for them. But you know what? Someday... I'm going to get an idea for them, and I'm going to go, oh, thank God I bought all of those silly stir sticks. So here's a couple more um, light fixture globe things that my aunt gave me. I like these, and I do use them for various stuff. Um, the thrift store also had for next to nothing these um, wooden things, some craft sticks and coffee stirrers and then little dowels and you know you always need things like that so I grab them and that's the other globe from my aunt and yeah if you're my Facebook friend that's the same aunt who cooked um, Christmas dinner pantless you know it was a, a little mishap with some clam dip <laughs> yeah, it was uh, kind of comical um, I also picked up, oh, I got this jar for free at the going out of business store, which, you know, this is, I don't even know what this jar was. I don't really care, but I like the lid. It's one of those old glass top ball lids. That was really all I was interested in. And then I put some other stuff in it that I got at a, another thrift store. I got a couple of these. I pick these up whenever I find them, if I can find them cheap. I got these two light bulbs and then these two rusty wrenches because these are perfect for my, I make wind chimes out of old rusty saws and I hang stuff on them and these are perfect for that. So um, I got all four, I think she charged me 25 cents for all four. I would have paid 25 cents each for them but you know, I didn't tell her that because she made the offer first. And um, the stuff in here I got at a different thrift store. I always pick these up when I can find them, these old um, bobbin things, because I use those a lot. And then I got these, there's a whole baggie full of these big plastic buttons. I'm not a fan of plastic. Um, in buttons, they're okay if they're unusual, and that's why I got these, because they're big. And you know, sometimes you just need a big plastic button. I mean, that's a perfect, you know, book closure or something. I don't know, but, but, you know, a center for a big flower. I, I just, I'm sure I need to. I'm just sure of it. So, got this. Um, let's see. Same store, I got the buttons. I got, oh, that, that doesn't go here. I bought this belt, and I don't know why. It, it will be clear someday. But it just had this little silver-toned buckle on it, which was in rough shape, but it cleaned up pretty good. It may be plated. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. I liked it. And then the leather belt part 
which at one time was a nice belt. Um, it's a little wide for, I don't know, it just, I don't think I would really wear it, but I might need it for something. And in its day, I don't know when its day was, but it was a pricey little belt. It was marked $44.99, and it's made in Argentina. So, um, it's, you know, chances are it's a pretty good piece of leather and will last. I'll figure out something to do with it. And at that same store, I found a few um, things that I can use for junk journals and things like that. Just some paper stuff. There were some, this is a little book of stickers for um, a wire marker booklet for some kind of electronic something. I don't know. Anyway, they're alphabet stickers. <laughs> and I like scorecards. These are, I think these are bridge for um, bridge scorecards. And those are fun to put in junk journals. And then this had some fun pictures. Oh look, it's already fallen apart. I love that. And then it had this um, um, rickrack label stuck in it, which was just a bonus. So, got that. Some airmail envelopes. Some, these are some from the 50s or 60s. 50, 1957 little um, stationaries <coughs> with pictures from New Orleans, St. Louis, and Moss Point, wherever that is. So there's that. And then, I haven't even opened this, but this was just like a whole taped up bundle of, of uh, you know, kitchen like cookware manuals and cookbooks that come with cookware. I'm going to open that. I'm going to go find some scissors. Okay. Hang on. I'll be back. I'm not going to stop the camera. We're just going to keep rolling because I know I've got scissors. Look, we're right here. Maybe I want I keep a pair of scissors and a roll of scotch tape in almost every room of my house because, you know, sometimes you just need those things and it's inconvenient to have to go to a different room to get them. And I am all about convenience. Alright, get this open, see what's in here. I figure I can use some of these in junk journals or something. Oh, this looks like a baggie of recipes. Oh, how fun is that? And somebody's obituary or a recipe? A little of both. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of fun. And I love old handwritten recipes. They're just the best. Look, she wrote it on, she wrote, it, she wrote a recipe on a check. Oh, how funny. <laughs> um, First American Bank, Eric, Oklahoma. Should I try to cash it? No, I wouldn't do that. She obviously did that a lot. That is so fun. Okay, this was really worth the, you know what, I don't even know what I paid for it. It's this little store where some of their stuff is marked, some is not. But I really don't even pay much attention because they're always really fair and reasonable. And, you know, I know she's not going to take advantage. And, ew, there's always something weird and yucky. Okay, I don't know what that was. But, mm-hmm, oh, yeah. These are fun. I will um, definitely be filling some junk journals with these. Mirrormatic pressure pan. That's so funny. All right, I guess I can look through these on my own time. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, I'm glad I got this. So that was my um, paper haul. Not much, but fun stuff. Uh, oh, one other freebie I got at the going out of business store is this picnic pack. I'm going to have to move back and adjust. Hang on. Here we go. Good enough. There we go. 
Yeah, it's called a picnic pack. It's from the 1950s or 60s, and they were asking $24 for it, which is, uh, I've seen them on eBay and Etsy going for about that price, but you know, in Wichita Falls, Texas, they're not going to get $24 for it. But anyway, it's a, just a stackable storage. It was uh, sold as a, uh, ouch. <laughs> okay, I'm obviously not qualified to operate machinery of this level. Ouch. Okay. Stackable pans. That's all it is. You know, I took one look and thought, ooh, storage. You know, I can store stuff in here. I don't know what, but, you know, I can... I can figure that out. They need to be cleaned up a little bit. And this bottom one originally, it came with a handle that fit right here, which this one is without its handle. But the handle fit right here so that you could use this one as like a frying pan if you're out camping or whatever. So, pretty cool. I don't think it will ever see a picnic, but I don't know. It might. Depends on how well it cleans up. But I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, so I can do this without breaking a finger. There we go. So that was my gift with purchase. Actually, they gave me this when I bought all their jewelry. So, um, yeah, that was my gift with purchase for that. Oh, and speaking of jewelry, these were some of the bracelets. Okay, I haven't put a bottom on the bottle yet, but I just stuck them on this bottle. I bought a bunch of bottles that I'll show you. But a whole bunch of these bangle bracelets, and I gave away a good bit of them. But these I'm keeping, and yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. And I've used these bangles before to crochet around them, and I've made scarf holders out of them. Um, which I could do with these, you know, because all I need is uniform size, and they are. But I've already done that, so I don't know if I want to do scarf holders again or think of something else. But anyway, those are the ones I'm keeping. And I'll put, I usually put like a um, tin can bottom on the bottom of the bottle so that I can pick this up and the bracelets won't slide off. Bottles make good little bracelet display deals. Um, I'll save the bottles for last because I've already put those where they're going to permanently live and I'll have to move the camera to show you. But I got these. Two bowls full of carded buttons. And these um, I got at the little thrift store. And she had them in baggies. She had anywhere from 12 to 20 of the, whoops, of the button cards in each baggie and they were a dollar to a dollar fifty each and there were maybe I don't know six seven baggies and I just bought all of them because you know I needed all of them I don't know why but some of them are kind of cool some are just typical nothing special buttons and those I will take off the cards and just add them to my button jars upstairs but some of these are kind of cool and I'm going to leave them on their cards I just have to go through and study them and figure out which ones I want to uncard and which ones I want to keep like they are. Um, but, you know, you always need buttons. I don't use a ton of buttons, but um, when I need one, I want to have it. You know, I want to be able to, if I need a pink button, I want to have some pink buttons to choose from. So I collect them when I can get them really cheap like this. And this, this was my bowl, but this bowl came with the crystals that I got, which are now in my bowl as well. But this bowl was full of these crystals that I got at the going out of business store because they were practically giving them away. I mean, I don't remember how much. It was either $4 or $8 for all these crystals. I don't know. Either way, you know, because you can sometimes pay 2 or $3 each for these. Well, theoretically, I would never pay that much, but that's that's about the going price for good. And these are just, you know, um, chandelier type crystals, and I can always find things to do with these. In fact, I have a little candle holder that was missing some crystals exactly this size, so I can put those on there and get it looking better again. 
So I've got a bunch of these to do something with. I don't know what, but there they are. And almost done. I've got my, uh, my mom said, do you have any use for those spice tins? And I said, well, yeah. Um, I had used some to, that I just covered with like a decorative paper and then I used them to store beads and stuff. So she had this whole baggie full of spice tins that she was saving because that's what she does. She doesn't ever do anything with the stuff that she saves, but by gosh, she saves it. So I relieved her of her empty spice tins. And I'll have to, yeah, see, she doesn't even clean them out. They just get empty and she's stuck in the bag. So I'm going to clean these out and then do something fun with those. And let's see. Oh, at the thrift store where I got the buttons. I also got these placemats because they kind of match my house. You know, I'm all like shabby shaky. And they had these, um, whatever you call that lace. It, that's not Battenberg. Is that Battenberg? No. Irish lace? I forget. I don't know what it is. This kind of lace has a name. I don't know what it is. But these are not particularly old or fancy or anything. But they do match my house. And there's a couple of different... See, this is kind of an oval one. And there's some in here that are square, which I like. I like that they're kind of mismatched, but they still go together. And there's like a dozen of them. So I've got plenty of placemats. And I am going to... Some of them have some stains on them. And this type of thing I always soak in bleach anyway. So hopefully I can bleach some of that out. If not, you know, there's so many of them that I've still got plenty I can use. And so I got those. And they were like a dollar or a dollar fifty for four of them. So, you know, I paid, I don't know, four or five dollars for all twelve. That wasn't bad. And at the going out of business store, she had a box of bottles. This is an old um, baby bottle that was in there and she had a bunch of these amber glass dropper bottles that came with it and it was a, I mean, it a huge box you know just a, a square box and it was twenty five dollars I think she went twenty five dollars for all of the bottles in there and there were well over twenty five bottles so you know it was less than a dollar a bottle which turned out really well. She even had a bunch of these. Okay, these are kind of scary. But actually these are good because um, last Halloween, I made my Halloween display was kind of, I was going for kind of like a, a creepy laboratory or kind of a medical thing with empty bottles. But I didn't have a lot of these little bottles like this. The ones that I had were like empty liquor bottles. So even though I tried to decorate them and make them look more like medical bottles, it still just it just looked like a mini bar. It, it didn't work. So I've been having my eye open for small old bottles to use. So these are going to be good. And she, you know, these are way overpriced. But they have stuff in them. I have no idea if the stuff that's in them is actually what's supposed to be in them or if at some point someone just put whatever in them. Um, I'm also not anxious to investigate that and find out exactly what's in them because it's gross and I don't care. Uh, so I'm just hoping those little corks stay put. I mean that's ugh, I don't even know what that is. But anyway they're going to be great for Halloween. I might grunge them up a little bit more and um, use them for my Halloween display so that it looks more medical or apothecary rather than happy hour because that, that just didn't work. Um, the rest of the bottles I've already put away and let me see if I can I'm getting ready to put Christmas decorations away so the house is kind of kind of not really straightened up but okay hold on we're walking over here is where I ended up putting the rest of the bottles. And it's been cloudy ever since we got home, which um, I'm not real happy about. I don't know, maybe I have that seasonal 
whatever disorder because when it's cloudy and gloomy outside I'm not real happy you know what I'm saying and these are going to look really cool when it's not cloudy and gloomy and when the sun comes out because you know then they can kind of kind of the sun will kind of shine through or that's my hope anyway but this is the window above my front door and that is where I chose to put all the little bottles that I bought. Well, my memory card filled up, so I had to take a break and delete all the junk off of there. And um, the sun still didn't come out. I gave it plenty of time, and it's still not cooperating. But anyway, you can see where the bottles are, and, and I'll try to do maybe another video on a day when the sun does come out, so you can see how the light shines through there or not you know that's just my theory but I'm pretty sure that it will um, but I like them up there and there's room to grow which is important because you know I'll probably find more bottles along the way at some point uh, the last thing I want to show is this is just a little gift that my mother gave me oh I'm gonna do this okay and it's something that her neighbor made thought they were adorable. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let me um, fix this. And it's just a letter. And her neighbor makes these. You know, it's just a little wooden letter. And then she puts beads and stones and stuff on them. See that? And I just thought they were adorable. And she lets you choose, you know, what base color you want, and then, um, you know, what kind of other colors. And, and my mom asked me before she had it made, and I told her, you know, base color, something light and neutral, like a light pink or ivory or light blue, and then, you know, pastel girly colors to match the house. And so that's it, and it's got little place to hang it on the back and then she's covered it with some kind of a maybe it's a resin or a polyurethane or something that she poured on there so that it's glossy and it holds all the little beads and doodads and she's got some really cool little doodads some are just kind of basic glass beads but then she's got some really kind of interesting pieces that she finds. I'll, I'll try to remember to ask my mom if she's got I know she has an Etsy shop but she um, she sells out of stuff really fast. It's, um, she sells it locally before it can get even sold in the Etsy shop, so it doesn't last long when it's on there. But if I can find an address for that, I'll, uh, I'll post it because these are precious. And that's it. That is all of my Christmas show and tell. Um, so until I come up with some kind of project or something to do, um, that's all I have, and I'll see you next time.